Rex, and in terms of the start you all had, is that what you all were looking for? And I guess what, what was the approach initially when you kind of knew you were playing a team in New Mexico where you kind of maybe had to be a little bit more aggressive than normal? Um, yeah, I'd say we, we started off well. Um, our approach was kind of to win, win every pitch and stay focused every pitch, you know, um, not give up any outs uh, easily. Um, and I think we did a, a decent job of that today. Um, you know, we had good at bats and um, played well overall, I'd say. From your perspective, how would you assess your all's response to what happened on Sunday in terms of just being able to get success on the offensive end and kind of get that get that loss out of your mind, so to speak? Um, I'd say we responded well. Um, we came out here ready to play. Um, you know, obviously, Drew led off the game with a great at bat. Um, you know, he, sh he showed some resilience there. And I think as a team, that's kind of what we need, you know, to get in that box and defense, offense, and just battle. Um, Cause we need, we need some more of that. All right, we'll go to Nico. Hey Braxton, after dropping uh, two of those three games to Baylor, do you guys as a team feel a sense of urgency going on right now, um, including going into this weekend's matchup versus Texas? I'm um, sure, you know, you always got to have a sense of urgency uh, about you. Um, you always got to be ready to attack and, you know, ready to play your best best baseball. Um, you know, there's no better time than now. And, um, yeah, I think we have a sense of urgency going into UT and, you know, any game really. We'll go to Brady. All right, Braxton, a little off topic uh, from your game you just played, but Coach Metter just uh, hit his, I guess, number 501 wins. Um, yeah. I know obviously you played for him. How cool is it to see um, one of your mentors and old coaches hit that milestone? Uh, it's awesome. You know, Metter's a great coach. I learned so much from him. Um, yeah, I sent him a text Saturday when he got his 500th. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy for him. He's a great coach, great guy. And, uh, Hope he gets a lot more wins. Awesome. And last for me, just how much was today? How much did how important was today and giving you guys a little bit of a confidence boost midweek, even though it was non-con, just going into a big weekend ahead? Um, I think it was very big. You know, you got to have some guys out there um, swinging the bat. Um, we got some guys on the mound. Um, you know, they all threw well. We had some good bat at bats out there. And, you know, overall, I think it it did give us a confidence boost. And um you know, got us ready to go, go to UT and play some good baseball. Go to David. Yeah, Braxton, on, on the confidence thing, uh, how big is it to see a guy like Nate, uh, who's had, certainly had his struggles, get up there and get a single in that first at bat? But is that something that could spark him, you know, moving forward for you guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. Nate, Nate's a, he's a great hitter. Um, but the thing with hitting is you go through ups and you go through downs and, um, you know, he's, he's never, he's never stopped working since he's been out of the lineup. And, you know, I know he wants to be in there, um, but he'll figure it out soon enough. And for him to get up there and get a hit, that's just, that's good for him. Hopefully he uh, continues to do well. And I know you, you're not necessarily looking ahead, but maybe, uh, the Oklahoma game, because we're not going to be able to talk to you until then. Um, just being able to play up in Amarillo in, in a park like that, I mean, what's that experience going to be like? And maybe uh, talk to Max about uh, playing up in his hometown, which I'm sure he'll he'll have plenty of fans there as well. Yeah, um, it's going to be exciting. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's a new stadium, right? Yeah, I know Max is uh, he's ready. He's got a lot of family and friends ready to come watch him. Um, it's always fun to play around West Texas, whether it's Amarillo, Midland. Um, it'll be a good time. We'll go to Ronald. You talked about, uh, you know, feeling that you guys responded really well. After the Baylor uh, series, we spoke with Cody Masters, and he talked about the veteran leadership, you know, in the locker room and things like that. Was this sort of the bounce back that you guys expected to see out of you guys today? Yeah, you know, this team's resilient. Um, we've always had guys that are, we call ourselves kind of bad boys, I guess. You know, we're, we're a scrappy ball team. Um, and we don't, we don't take 
defeat lightly. Um, you know, no competitor really does. Um, so yeah, to see us come out here and compete, I think it's only natural and I think we're going to continue to compete um, every day and, you know, continue to play better and better baseball as postseason nears. And we'll go back to David. Sorry, one more Braxton. Uh, what, what, what do you know about the Texas pitching staff? Obviously Madden's tough, but I mean, it seems like all three of those guys that are going to be starting this weekend are among the best in the Big 12. How do you, how do you approach going against a group like that? Yeah, um, well, you stick to your approach. You know, they're still amateurs. Um, you go up there, you see the ball and you hit it. Can't get, can't get too much into the analytics, I'd say. Not at least right here. Coach, I asked Braxton, how did you feel about the approach or the response of your team following Sunday after what you had mentioned was probably not uh, a, or, or what was a humbling experience? Uh, I thought it was good. Thought the guys had a good workout yesterday, good practice, had good intent about them. Um, you know, those guys that threw early today came out and did a good job of uh, pounding the strike zone and uh, guys played defense behind them. I thought, thought the response was good. Last one for me. I know you alluded to it with some of the earlier guys. Brendan was able to get a, a nice two innings to kind of give him some confidence and some of the other guys too on, on a day where you kind of trotted out a lot of pitchers. Did, did you kind of like the, the way the guys pitched and just getting their confidence going forward today? I think any time you get get them on the slope and get them in game competition, it, it should help. Uh, I was really proud of the way all of them threw the baseball. Uh, some of them had some adversity, some didn't. Thought they handled that just fine. Thought they continued to just try to execute pitches and uh, control what they can control. And uh, again, it's a nine inning ball game. Thought the guys did a good job of competing today. All right, Brady. Yeah, Coach, how did you, how important was this game and kind of resetting y'all before you head into Texas and kind of what's your scouting report or overall thoughts on how you're preparing for them? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously the midweek games are always good. Um, I mean, we played some, like just getting Max in there, playing Ron back today, uh, I think it's really good, you know, to get those guys some at bats. I think you always have good and bad in a weekend. And sometimes it's good for a guy to have some bad on a Tuesday, believe it or not, and or a Wednesday and get them ready for the weekend or vice versa. Uh, so the resets on both sides of it, um, these guys, uh, you know, they're not professionals. It's not a deal where they just show up and give you one good quality at bat after another and one good inning on the mound after another. They're trying to learn how to do that. And uh, the more they play, the easier that is to do. Um, far as the weekend goes, I mean, we've been, you know, we our week's always about the same. We, we require, NCAA requires one day off. We usually do that on Monday, uh, either play or practice on Tuesday. And we got to practice yesterday and uh, play today. And which this time of year, the playing a game is generally it's a little more productive than a practice. And, uh, you know, your practice setting, you got to mix it up a little bit this time of year. We did a little bit of that yesterday, and I uh, thought the guys had good intent about what they were doing. I'll go to David. Coach, you, you mentioned Nate and Max. Uh, both of them getting hits today. It, it's been a while for Nate, and I know – you know, he didn't get a hit in his last three, but it's something like that, even if it is in a midweek kind of, can that spark something for him? A guy that you need to start, you know, swinging the bat a little bit better. Hey, he's, he's been working really hard. We spent a lot of time, um, you know, flipping balls and, you know, and him swinging the bat and he's a very diligent young man and uh, prepares the right way. And the uh, game sometimes is tough. And, uh, you know, the, you know, the average as far as, you know, as far as a hitter goes, you know, it's just, you're going to go through that. I mean, hitting something that's just not going to be there every day. Um, and so again, uh, yeah, could it spark something? Absolutely. Um, you know, it was, it's, uh, I thought he played a great first base. 
I mean, I thought other than I did think he and I hadn't even really thought about it, hadn't even talked to him about it. I thought he might have stretched a hair early on the ball Queen had there in the ninth, which is easy to do. Um, but other than that, I thought he took at least one hit away uh, if Reichman just gets over, you know, on the ball. Uh, it ended up being the first hit of the game as an infield single. And that's a play we hadn't been making, and that's good to see. How impressive is this Texas pitching rotation? I know you guys just got done with the Baylor one that was pretty solid as well, but this group, is it a little bit above that? Well, I tell you, I mean, you're talking about there's a difference in the type of arms. Um, it's really more what our guys are used to seeing. It's more velocity um, instead of pitchability. Uh, it probably is arm strength with pitchability. Uh, with Madden, Stevens, and uh, Kubacek, all three of those guys and their bullpen arms. Um, obviously, you know, they're, they're good arms. And uh, at the same time, it's uh, you, know, you got to keep it simple. And they, I know they've thrown the ball awful well. I don't know how many people have actually beaten the guy on Friday, but I know we're going to line it up and, and try to beat him. I mean, I can tell you that. I mean, it's, it's uh, we're going down there to win the game. So, we're not going down there just to say, hey, you're pitching so good. So, you know, they're going to have to, they're going to have to compete with us. I, I know, I know it's probably a little early, but we, we, I think we're obligated to ask this. Is it going to be the same rotation or are you going to give it another day to think, think about that? No, as of right now, it's the same. Don't hold it against me if we change. I, we've talked about changing it uh, just because it was totally natural to do it. Uh, human nature off of, uh, you know, the ways, you know, Friday went, really. Uh, we started talking about that after Friday. Uh, at the same time, Pat's, you know, he's thrown the ball really well. We've played good behind him. And uh, so now we're going the same. We'll go back to Ronald. Coach, I know you talked about, you know, that this team is still learning and obviously there's still some season left for you guys to continue to improve. But was this the sort of response that you needed to see out of your team in today's game after that Baylor series? Or did you even, you know, come to expect this? Um, I mean, really, we, we've been having some breakdowns, Ronald. I mean, as far as like one through nine, uh, you know, baseball is a game that, I mean, really good examples. Drew Baker's first at bat today. I mean, he kind of sets up the whole inning by having a 10 or pitch, 10 or 11 pitch at bat. Whether he gets on or not, he's kind of set it up for the guys behind him. And uh, we need to continue to try to develop as far as that goes. Uh, obviously, um, you know, pitching a defense, something that, you know, you should have the ability to, for it to be there every day. Base running be the same thing. The offensive side of it, Ronald, it's, uh, it's a game that's just not that easy on offense. And so it's something that's not always there. And so the better the better at-bats you can have within an at-bat and within an inning, uh, the easier it sets you up to win games. And so, uh, again, but, you know, we also understand reality of it is, again, you're just not going to hit every day. I mean, you can come out and hit. I was at my son's game last night. I mean, they they hit the ball really hard and didn't score a run. You know, in, in opportunities when they had a chance to score, they just hit it right at people. And sometimes that's just the way the game is. All right, anything else for Coach? Can I squeeze in a uh, an Amarillo question, Coach? I, I know that you talked about it a couple weeks ago, but uh, I mean, is it still ideal to have that at this point? I mean, or I mean, you're going to play it clearly, but you still wish you would have played it a week, a week or so ago. Um, I think really the way it sets up now, I think it's ideal. Um, I think you know, I think you saw the value in a midweek today. I think today's game got sloppy late. You know, as far as that bats and some things got sloppy, but again, that's part of the growing process of a team trying to play nine innings and uh, to try to stay mentally uh, engaged in the game, if that's what you want to say. And so I think the opportunity to go play up there in that environment and play Oklahoma in that environment is an opportunity for our guys to 
definitely, uh, you know, to, to learn something about themselves.